because I'm getting me bat out here. I'm not having it. Espanyol plus 210. Mm. Villarreal, an absolute shambles, by the way. New manager, plus 135. Trap. Trap door. Trap door. They were, they were just shocking. And you know how much love I have for the yellow submarine. The draw is at plus uh, 240. Espanyol, uh, draw no bet, is at plus 120. Villarreal, to score twice... Is or not? Uh, sorry, to score twice is plus one thirty-five. So they're telling you if Villarreal score one, they'll be throwing a party. Uh, Espanyol hmm. to score uh, twice is at minus one eighty. Looks like one-one, but for me, the home side it has to revolve around that Roman. Yeah, I mean, uh, Villarreal are going through a little rough patch. We could say with their new Why? manager. Why well, are they? <laughs> Because the new manager, Kike Setien, came on and he, he has a very particular style of football, possession-based football, and he's very uh, unflexible in that sense. You know, He wants to play that way. And of course, the team is coming from playing with Emery more, we could say, a vertical, and then suddenly they have to completely change around their the way of doing things. And, and it, it takes time. You can't just come in and completely change the style of the team and expect to get results. So, of course, the other day in, in, the, in the La Ceramica Stadium, uh, the fans were actually chanting Kike Vete Ya, which is like the, the manager there saying, please, like, go, go, leave the team, Kike, who's the, the mm. coach. So, I mean, uh, four or five matches in to, to, to go against your manager, I think it's pretty poor, but uh, they aren't happy with what they're seeing. And it's true that uh, the other day against Mallorca, they were having the ball, they had the ball, pass, 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 but they barely got into the box, I think maybe three, four times in the whole match. And uh, their best chances were shots from outside the box. So there's definitely a lot of work to do. I think the World Cup would do uh, the manager a great favor and he would have actually time to implement the automatisms and all the ideas he wants to bring in. But uh, he's barely had 10 days. And in those 10 days, two of those games have been really, really unimportant, we could say, because they were Europa League and they were already qualified as first of the group. So the problem here is in La Liga that, of course, they lost against Athletic Club 1-0 and losing against uh, Mallorca at home 2-0 uh, doesn't do you any good. So uh, it's it's risky to go for Villarreal at the moment. I really hope they can change the dy- dynamic. I personally like Ike Setien a lot, but he does have to modernize himself in certain aspects of the game and not be so uh, or stick so much to, to the possession-based football he likes to, to play. And yeah, hopefully they'll, they'll get out of this, but at the moment it doesn't look good and maybe Espanyol is possibly a safer way to go, yeah. Villa, uh, the Mallorca back line at the weekend, and I had um, over two and a half goals, but uh, like thinking that I was definitely going to be seeing the three goals in the game, because you know Mallorca are going to have a go. Pavlos, the Mallorca back line were guilty of smoking cigars during the game. <laughs> it was unbelievable. And you could see that the only team that were going to score was the visitors. Yeah, this, this is a bad period for, for Villarreal. Uh, we now know the reason. I, to be honest, I, I wasn't really uh, certain why this was happening. You know uh, exactly why it was happening because you know when teams change coaches, uh, it either can work really well, and you see struggling teams perform much better after the change of coach. But you also see teams who are you know doing fine, and then the the coach changes, and then they struggle. And um, Villarreal are having the second, uh, the, the the you know. Um, they're struggling a lot right now, and the way I see it, it's going to be a very careful match. I wouldn't be surprised if Espanyol, uh, you know, grabbed some points here. Uh, I'm not really uh, re- ready to go, you know, pick a, a, a full-time winner. My bet is on the halftime because I looked at the stats, and uh, based on my logic, I went for the uh, draw at halftime. Because, you know, Espanyol, they, I've been bashing them all season, but the truth is that I... Um, I I was actually right on them. I was right about them at the first half of the um, you know uh, the first six or seven months they struggled a lot, but now they've only lost just one um, of their last uh, what is it seven matches? One win, one yeah, loss, and five draws. Yeah, really hard to beat. There's been no win in four. Three of them four games have been draws, so it's been yeah, tough but, to beat. Yeah, but they they got a draw at uh, Atletico Madrid. Um, they, you know, they got a draw at Valencia versus Valencia. So the way I see it, it's going to be a really uh, tough match. And I think both teams are going to be very careful. And uh, I was, again, I just want to say the quick stats for the first halves. Uh, Espanyol, they have uh, the second most draws in the first half at home. They have, uh, not at home, overall, they have eight draws. Zero wins, five losses and eight draws. So the eight first half draws are the second most in the league. At home, they have zero wins, two losses and four draws. 
those four first half draws at home are the third most in the league. And Villarreal in first half, they have two wins, five losses and six draws. Those six first half draws are the fourth most in the league. And on the road, they have zero wins, two losses and six draws in the first halves. So those six first half draws on the road are the most in the league. So, And by the way, Villarreal have yet to score in the first half on the road. They have zero goals and four conceded. So um, I see a very careful match between the two sides. So for me, I went with the um, uh, draw at halftime at plus 110. I think that's a fair, a fair price for a very possible outcome. Yeah, under two and a half goals in the game at minus 120 is looking like a big juicy strawberry as well. Um, if I'm the manager of Espanyol, I get my boys absolutely riled up to come out of the great uh, at the gates like an absolute greyhound because Villarreal want to feel sorry for themselves. Go and smash them with everything you've got in the first 20 minutes. You're going to have the crowd behind you. Villarreal at the weekend were at home to Mallorca. New, new uh, uh, thought process, new manager, fresh start. 71% possession. All oh, keep it nice. Two shots on goal. Two shots on goal against Mallorca, who ship goals home or away. So, I mean, that tells you something, that he either hasn't got the right players or he's not implementing the right style for his players. Let's have a little look at the official picks. I've got a be in my bonnet about this one. Because as you know, let me just remind you also that Villarreal went six games last year, back to back to back to back, all nil-nils. Espanyol, money line, plus 210 for me. I'm not messing about. But I, I don't mind if you want to go draw no bet or you want to go with double chance. First half draw, plus 105. And if that's a draw, it's going to be nil-nil, I guess. So you could even go under one goal and then one might be a push. But I doubt if you're going to get a prize. Under two and a half goals at minus 120. He's a definite runner as well. <laughs> 